Hello there. What's going on, everybody? Hello there has a whole new meaning now because Clone Wars is officially announced for Star Wars Legion at Adepticon today. They just announced Clone Wars, and we all expected it was coming. They just gave us this Rex teaser on Instagram yesterday, so it was pretty much the most biggest foregone conclusion. And sure enough, two new factions, Republic and Separatists, and uh, they're giving us, instead of individual packs, instead of combo packs we're getting a full-blown corset whole new corset great starting point for anybody getting into this game look at that art that's one of the best pieces ever like i want that on my wall that's insane i'm blown away that's so so good looking we're getting a new core set and it's going to have Obi-Wan and Grievous and it's going to have clone troopers and it's going to have a phase one clone troopers and it's going to have B1 battle droids. And I mean, look, look on the core set. Look, I see super battle droids on there, right? So like we know we, they're already giving us clues as to what else is coming, even though only so many things were shown, right? Oh, it's it's awesome. There's lats on there. There's the big uh, tanky spider walkie thingies. I'm so technical with my terminology. The spider walkie thing. This is a super awesome thing. And a new core set is just great because now all of a sudden new incoming players don't have to go back and buy like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. So very, very, very cool. So uh yeah, I mean I'm I'm super I'm super pumped. Let me know in the comments if you guys are pumped too. We're going to look at more of this stuff. I do want to remind you guys, there is a new round of the giveaway going on right now, so you can enter to win an expansion of your choice in the form of a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. So let's actually, let's look a little closer uh, at some of this other content. We're getting also a B1 Battle Droid and Phase 1 Clone Trooper units. We're getting, uh, and, and those are going to be in the first round. Uh, apparently, there's going to be some more expansions that are coming, but they may not be with a very, very first launch wave. So, you know, it may... You, Probably want to do the same thing you did with uh, the Clone Wars already uh, or with the first Legion core set and just get two core sets and kind of start there. That's going to be my guess as well if they follow the same formula. It did say that this core set is going to come with everything you need. So look at this command card. Obi-Wan's got a one pip called Hello There. I know what I'm going to play. I know. Oh my gosh. I got to make an alternate art of that card. Same thing. That's freaking, ah, oh, love it, love it. And then he's got a three pip called General Kenobi. Oh, oh I, I thought that would be Grievous's card, right? But I guess you couldn't play, you couldn't play it with Grievous, you know, if he was going up against somebody else, right? You got Supreme Commander for Grievous, uh, crush them for Grievous, and then of course you've got your basic four, right? Ambush, push, assault, and standing orders. So. You've got everything you need to play the game here, but you've got new art. So there's like some incentive if you want to go and get this also, even if you're not, you know, very cool. Very cool. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, so that's great. Uh, so our phase one clone troopers. Oh, man, look at these guys. It looks so good. It looks so good. Now, another thing is these guys are coming on a sprue, too. And so they're going to be like they're going to be. They showed uh, one of the sprues at Adepticon. It's basically going to be like in 40K format. So. Uh, they they said that these are going to be some of the highest quality miniatures that we've ever seen. Uh, and we'll do closer looks at, at all of these. And this is just kind of like a, hey, let's talk about it's coming. This is how it's coming. But um, one of the coolest things is there's a new token type called Surge. Uh, and there's also the three uh, suppression token because there's going to be a lot more suppression. Um, so that's one of the things that's kind of cool here. Um, and we've got our unit card there. They did say that clone troopers are going to be the best core in the game. Um, or that the Republic will have the best core, the clones will be the best core in the game, um, which is cool. And, and I think they should be. They were very expensive. That was why the Empire didn't keep doing it, because I'm like, all right, we're spending too much money on these super soldiers when we, we can get by with these moron stormtroopers. Um, and then a B1 battle droids. Okay, look how many miniatures are here. There's like 36 points for just the, for the basic unit, which has, the basic unit has six. So this is a true swarm faction. That's awesome. So basically, the faction identities here is that the Separatists are a true swarm, Zerg swarm, and the clones are elites. So they're like, um, may, if we're comparing Protoss, then the clones are the, I mean, if we're comparing, I gave it away, if we're comparing factions to Star, StarCraft, then these guys are the Zerg, and then the clones are the Protoss, uh, or something. 
Although the clones seem like they're a lot more likely to be space marines for a lot of reasons, but balance-wise, Protoss perhaps, you know. Very, very cool. Um, man, so we've got we've got our, our high-res models here. Look at the rocket droids, and they're going to be so much fun to paint. Look at these guys. Oh, my goodness. We've got our clones there and different colored bases, too. So we've got blue and tan as opposed to our gray and red. So that much works. So that, you know, that, and one of the things that they've done here is they've laid the groundwork for any more factions to be added, too. So if they want to eventually, because they did say at, Adepticon, at the Adepticon panel that you can, you're, they're going to be making Legion for a long, long time to come. Uh, so there's no end in sight for this game. This game is obviously doing very, very well. They have every intention of keeping this game going forever. So that's... Yeah, obviously, it's doing really good, so that's awesome. Um, look at Grievous. This this model, and and they're doing them 40k style. Um, uh, not just the fact that they're on a sprue, but there's multiple poses and multiple ways you can build these. Um, there's another shot of like the, in one of the images they showed Grievous without having his double arm. They showed him like, with his cloak on and stuff. So there's lots of ways you can do this. Um, Look at Obi Wan! What? Oh, wait. Yeah, like that. No, oh, I can't. I can't do it. I'm throwing off angle on the shot. That, that's so awesome. He's got that clone armor, dude. That's those. I mean, you can't do Obi Wan any better than that. That's that's apex Obi Wan right there. Oh man, that's so great. That's so so good. We got more. Um, the bark. The bark speeder uh, is coming, and they 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 talked about this thing um, that it can be built without the sidecar. They also said that the sidecar will swivel 180 degrees. So you can or either 90 or 180, but basically the sidecar you can you can move, it'll be it'll have motion, which is cool. Like they did that with the the, uh, the chicken walker, so you you have parts that move. Um, Droidicas, Droidicas. Two miniatures for a droidica. You can have them in wheel mode or in in shooty shooty mode, and I believe that's what that's the technical term is shooty shooty mode. And uh, yeah, and they they said they're gonna give a gameplay benefit when in wheel mode. So that I mean that makes sense, but that's really cool. So oh, man, look at them. Now the thing is, oh my gosh, I want to get like a I want to get a fishbowl to put around them, like shields. You know, like like I want to mod my guy to have them have the like the shields up, but I don't know how to do that. So. That's oh my gosh! That's what we need to figure out. How can we how can we draw how can we like put a shield on this guy? Like I could see doing a fishbowl or something, but maybe some kind of acrylic dome that could go over the top of that would be so cool. It would look so cool. And then put like little blaster impacts on it, like like purple and red, right? Like uh, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, uh, this is exciting. Look at some of this artwork. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, like this is gorgeous. This is some of the painted minis already. Look at these. Look at see. There's Grievous. Like he's got this cape on. He's only got the one lightsaber. Like look at that. You can build these guys different ways. Look at them clones. Oh my goodness, I love it. There he is. There's Grievous with just two two lightsabers. Cool thing is too, you can give him any colored lightsabers you want. You don't have to just go with the blue and green. You can go with you can give him purple. You can give him. I wouldn't give him a rainbow lightsaber, but that would be pretty cool too. You can give him a dark saber. <gasps> oh my gosh! I wonder if you can. I wonder if the hands are going to be open. And you can put whatever lightsaber you want in there. If you can put the dark saber on, that would be cool. Oh, I mean, you can always just cut it and do it. Look, we got a bark there and some Obi Wan versus some clones, dude. And this is all up on Fantasy Flight Games now. That's how I got the high uh, high res images. This looks insane. Quarter three. This is quarter three. Everything is coming quarter three. This is going to be, oh my gosh, this is going to be a tremendous Gen Con. So here's the thing. Going to Gen Con this year, be prepared to just get a big box at UPS and ship all this stuff home because you ain't going to have room in your luggage for all of this. Wow. Insane. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty blown away by all of this. This is really a tremendous, tremendous uh, year for gaming. And, and this is only one year after Legion launched. So we'll be breaking this stuff down. We'll be looking at the. Uh, I'll, I'll probably be doing like a better analysis on what we learn of the clone troopers and of the uh, and of the uh, battle droids and of Grievous and Obi Wan and the Droidicas and the Bark Speeders and and more predictions. What's the next thing's coming? One thing they didn't tell us. Um, we didn't see Rex. 
So uh, Rex was in that preview, and I'm like, where's 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 Rex? Where's Cody? I mean, like they teased Rex, so that's why I thought for sure Rex would have been in the starter. But surprise, surprise. So hopefully uh, we will see Rex. Uh, hopefully we will see you know more Jedi and more uh, Separatist commanders. I still want to see Dooku and Asajj and Darth Maul. I know he really wasn't Darth Maul in the Clone Wars proper, but you still got to do him. I mean, goodness gracious. And there was a lot of really cool other stuff that they mentioned about this, like the way the factions are going to play. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in future videos. But I just want to get this out there um, to talk about it and to kind of purge some of my excitement because I feel like I'm going to blow up. There's a lot of other news too, so make sure you're subscribed uh, so you don't miss out on all the other Armada announcements and a lot of X-Wing talk also. Um, some potential updates for X-Wing Epic Play. It's just, oh man, they just dropped so much information on us. It was really, really cool. Let me know if you're excited about the Clone Wars corset. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Big thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. You guys definitely helped make this possible. Big thanks to all of you who also helped a fellow Legion player and Armada player and a YouTuber, um, Luke from Master of the Fleet. Uh, we raised over $1,200 in one day. Uh, I did close down the giveaway for that, too. Um, I'm going to do a separate thank you video for that, though, because you guys are amazing. Uh, so much, so much, too much to talk about, not enough time. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you right now. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.